Hello, my name is Mike Geig, and welcome to part 11 of my video series on Windows programming with C Sharp. In part 11, we are going to talk about files. And by files, I mean like flat files, like text documents and things like that. We're not going to talk about databases yet. We'll be getting to those a little later. So, uh, with files, first off, I'm just going to kind of uh, kind of introduce you to the concept. All right, we're going to be talking a lot about streams, uh, things called character-based files, and stuff like that. When working with files, there's generally two types of files to work with. There are things like character-based files, which are human-readable files, like a text document you might write with Notepad or whatever. And then there are byte-based files or binary files, which are like .exes or dot, um, I don't know, whatever, CMDs, DATs, you know, whatever, whatever you're writing, you know, that, that, that's a compiled code. Uh, it would look like garbage if you open it up and say Notepad. Uh, we are going to be working mostly with the former. We're going to be working with... Um, Character-based files, we're going to be working with writing directly to files. We're not going to touch on byte-based files or binary files uh, in this course. Uh, so, so now that you know we're going to be working with these, these character-based files, uh, we are also going to be utilizing something called streams. All right, and streams uh, might seem confusing, but they're basically, they're very simple. A stream is simply a flow of data. Uh, that's it. It's a flow of data either in or out. And you've actually been working with streams all along. A stream is what takes what you code and puts it on the monitor. Uh, a stream is what takes what you type on your keyboard and puts it into your program. It's all data streams. It's all just flowing. And so in this case, uh, when we output our data, instead of outputting it to the monitor, we're going to be outputting it to a file instead. And when we read in, instead of reading from a keyboard, we're going to be reading from a file. All right. So uh, you've been working with streams all along. It's nothing really new. Now, in part 11, we're going to talk about things like the file info and directory info classes, which we can use to find all sorts of information about the file structure of the computers we're working with. We're going to talk about the stream writer, which allows us to write a stream. We're going to talk about the stream reader. Uh, we are going to talk about the dialogues, the open file dialog and the save file dialog, which we've seen before, but we didn't actually get to, to utilize its functionality. And we're going to talk about streaming uh, from network locations.